Hey everyone, welcome to the Arguments Football Fantasy Podcast, week two. Switzer, we made it. We made it, I know. I, I thought I, we didn't burn the place down last time. We made it to week two. We're All still right. alive. We have a streak going. And the that's streak longer than the terrible towel. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up on the show, we'll talk about that exactly. Lee's, uh, how we cursed Lee, should we say. Joe's big win and a couple of other things. Let's start, though. Let's look at week one, okay? So my bold prediction last week, yep. Matt Stafford, 300, what, 67 yards. Three hundred. That's, that's what you said, yeah. Four touchdowns and a Joe victory. 270 yards, off by 93 yards. Okay, 97. Sorry, 97. I don't know. <laughs> 200. It's okay. Off by, <laughs> off by 97 yards. Got the touchdown total right. Joe gets a win. Big win. Big win. It's a big win. And, you know, not to be slept on, the O-Dog also got off the schneid. Um, and there are no more winless teams or undefeated teams in the pool. No, yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, so I think I think what's interesting, though, is we talked about Joseph and would he get off the schneid, and he did. So the new question might be, because we talked about this last week as well, is who's better, the No Thrills Football Company or Team Joseph? Team Joseph currently, like, they're tied on record, but Team Joseph's almost 100 points behind him. That's true, yeah. Well, the, the No Thrills – well, I always try to compare these teams because uh, last week interested me so much. <laughs> Big – Like, congratulate. I mean, I mean, we should congratulate Team Joseph. Like, he, 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 he dispelled the doubters, myself mainly. Well, we I was the leader of the numbers. <laughs> it, w- it was my big, bold prediction of the week, so. It's true. <laughs> I knew it was, he was I can tell you, having spoken to him personally, he was he was excited. He was buoyed by your support. I spoke to uh, Team Joseph owner Joe Krimker this week, and mm. he explained that he has been the victim of a, of a terrible hand that he was dealt. No, but it's excuses. Everybody's got a bad hand. And, like, and it's hilarious when you think about it because the people that he mentioned in this were Adrian Peterson. It was a yeah, Adrian Peterson. Yeah, terrible. But then he was like, Jared Cook was a bust. I gotta pick up this message. <laughs> Joe Joe called uh, Jared Cook a bust, which I found hilarious because yeah, like was Jared he great? It's supposed to be amazing. terrible. He's a horrible, horrible player. <laughs> <laughs> and he also said Jamal Charles five weeks out, but he knew that. Yeah, I don't think that we thought he was going to be out this long, but yeah. Cobb bust, but he's awesome now just for a different team. Who's that? Cobb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Langford bust. And, yeah, Bob. Langford. Did you take notes on your conversation? Is that what you're referring to right now? I'm reading. I'm reading oh. the message. Oh, it's text messages. Okay. I'm like, I'm like, did he take notes? I like that. <laughs> I like the inside scoop. I should have taken some notes. No, that's good. That's good. Yeah, not nonetheless. Oh, um, that's that, I mean, like I said, we can congratulate him. We can move on though, because at the end of the day, he still does not have a chance to make the playoffs, right? He's gonna get over the, that one and a half win. Total. Probably, probably. At this point, it, it, I mean, just ask John Zach. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get we'll get to that later in the show too. We'll get to that later. We will get to that later. Uh, also, so then the other part of last week uh, reaction to last week is is the terrible towel and his his fall from grace, if you will, with a with a weekly point total last week of I believe uh, pulling it up here sixty something points, sixty four points for the terrible towel last week and suffered a huge injury to Big Ben. Yeah, well, I saw Lee the other night, mm-hmm. and I walked in. He offered me his hand, and he said, thanks, thanks for cursing my team. <laughs> you say I'm the best team. You say everyone's uh, – I, I got the best team. I, I'm a shoe-in for, for big things, and then everyone gets hurt. Big Ben so, goes, Eddie Lacy out for the year. Bad, bad, bad week. Tough week. So who does he have starting in those positions today? Alex Smith, who's actually been quite good uh, fantasy-wise this, this okay. week. 
Okay, who else? Who does he have a running back now? And he has Matt Asiata starting. Oh, ooh. that's rough. Oh, Ryan Matthews. So that's yeah, rough. that's it's not it's not good. It's not ideal, that's for sure. <laughs> but, so, uh, but you know, but it's, it's, still, it's, like, you know, I still think he has a really good team, though, right? The the real the real issue and the big mystery is how is Antonio Brown going to play with the new quarterback Landry Jones? Right. Uh, do we do we? I, I don't know. Have the stats in front of me, but I feel like like I remember last year when he that was like when Antonio Brown lost his streak of like five games and 50, five catches and fifty yards in like however many straight games, and he lost it when Landry Jones was in the game. So I think. The great thing about having Antonio Brown on your team is that you can guarantee like ten points. Like he's going to have, he may not blow up every game, but he's guaranteed ten points. And with Landry Jones, I don't think you can guarantee it that way. There, yeah. The the so, Rams, the Rams just stopped the Giants on okay. on third and one, getting the ball just to give an right. update. Anyone who may I, I appreciate that update. I appreciate that update because I think everyone else is watching the game instead of us. <laughs> that might be true. <laughs> um, and so, can we just say something about this? This is so stupid. This what's game. That? This game being in London. Why? Because they put a team in LA. We saw a ninety thousand oh, tickets. Fly all the way over. They they did sell ninety thousand tickets a game for as long as they stay a novelty, so a couple years, uh, and they take away a home game and put it in England. Yeah, well, I mean, I'd love to discuss this with you, but we're not here to talk about the NFL. We're here to talk about the arguments for both drafts. It's true, but this is just ridiculous. Uh, I don't disagree, but I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, what's next? So last week, um, a bunch of teams came away with victories, scoring under 90 points. Yeah, there were two teams last week. Uh, my team scored 85 po- 81 points, sorry, and Rams own one with 85 points, pushing both teams to four and two records, which is also makes it interesting, right? They, yeah, both, they, both, they both push themselves to four and two, beating teams bringing those teams like terrible talent punt for Shama down to four and two, right? So that was week six. But in week five, we also had, you know, uh, or sorry, not in week five, but I believe it was, it was in week four. We also had the same with Ramzone winning at 80 points and Shaq winning at 92 points. And so Ramzone has now won two games this season with under 90 points. I don't know, maybe, maybe more. I haven't, I haven't looked that closely, but like, uh, here we go. Ram Ramzone is four and two. In his wins, his point totals are 116, 134, 80, and then 85. Yeah. Odog, Odog got off the schnei last week. Yeah. With, with putting, up, putting up a big point total, and he didn't, it didn't get the loss. I yeah. put up one more point than him and went down. Well, that's, that's, also, oh, that's obviously the nature of, of the – yeah, second most. But yeah, yeah, lots of. It's obviously the nature of fantasy football to to lose with higher totals than teams win. But I think it's an anomaly to see teams winning with eighty something points. Like usually, if you can score hundred, you'll be in it, right? If you can score one twenty, you should be good. But like, I think it's I think it's 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 interesting to see how like a team like I said like a like if you look at the standings, right? Like a team like a Rams owner or my team even that I can both have six seventeen and six thirteen points respectively for them, both teams being four and two. Right? Or a team like Yasta a team like Yasta is three and three with the second least points in the pool. Barely yeah. more points than Jusef, right? Yeah. So it's just okay, yeah, it's the nature of the beast that you're gonna win games like that. But I think that I think that this is more so. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. We could use stats, man, Johnny, to help us. But is this is this an anomaly from other seasons at this point in the year, or will it just work its way out by the end of the season? That's a, call out, a call out to Rams owner John Zach. Please write us another mathematical message explaining us this situation. How much of an anomaly is it to, to win with eighty something points? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's the uh, of making the playoffs. 
themselves while having you know, a little amount of points. <laughs> what was that? What's the likelihood of making the playoffs with like a, a little amount of points or something? Johnny, I'm just spitballing here. Help us out. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure he'll be able to come up with something. I love that. Okay. All right. We can move on from there. I think, I think you have what's next. All right, it's time for Switzer's power rankings. Oh, right. Okay, so we're gonna try to create some weekly segments. We're gonna create some weekly segments. We're gonna try. I think, I think the Switzer power rankings should give us the top three and the bottom three. The top three and the bottom three houses. Okay, I, I I can do that. So we're gonna do top three in the pool. I think you know with the considering records, considering point total, and considering um, like the three things that I'm gonna be looking at as records point totals and um, like streaks, like where they're at right now. So, you know, if I had done the power rankings last week, of course I would have the terrible talent number one, but considering their piss poor performance, I'm going to put uh, Team Rapage at the top here. Uh, most points in the pool, best record in the pool, two game winning streak. It's, it's pretty easy to see um, why he's at the top of the league. It's Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. <laughs> right? Um, number two. I still will slot the Herbie, uh, the terrible towel, I should say, in there. I think it's still a really good team. I, I'm not prepared to say that the best team in the league last week is not in the top three or top two this week. My concern beyond the injuries for him is, like, how good will he be? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and then he has his injury issues. And how much can he how much can you count on like a Ryan Matthews or even a Michael Crabtree? I think that I, I jumped the gun a little bit on his team last week, but I'm not ready to, to ship him. Um, number three is where it becomes a little bit more difficult. Um, but I'm going to slide no sue for you, the Daniel Clare's team. Two at the first and, um, year. Get it up there. I'm gonna the I mean, the way I look at it is, you know, it's either him or Blunt Force Trauma. Of course, Blunt Force Trauma has outscored by 40 points this year. But just when you think about Claire's team having scored over 120 points in the last two weeks and Mogul's team having scored two. <laughs> what I is that? Three. Two. Two again. Great. I just put the shit like this. It hurt. It came out this way, obviously. This way would hurt. Was that one? You know? We're off the rails. <laughs> um, but I think with that back to back hundred we'll have we scored seventy points last week. That's that was the deciding factor for me. Do you have any qualms? Uh, uh, I don't know about no suit for you in the three. It's close. I mean the blood the blood, speaker, that's a hot that's a hot team. Blood force trauma is not. Blood, okay, fair enough. They've lost two in a row. And then, They've yeah. lost two in a row and you know what? They're they're looking like they're probably going to lose this week too. That's also, As you know, I don't want to include that in my power rankings, but I mean, they are going to be hard pressed to win this week. Oh, I guess they've lost. Yeah, yeah, two of the there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, I think that's fine. I, I'm interested to see your bottom three. I think we know which three teams will be involved. Well, yeah, I think it's pretty easy. The one-win teams are going to be are going to be at the bottom of the standings, and like as much, I think, I think like the O dog, like I do, where do I go from bottom to top? Is that how I is that how I rank them? What? Sorry, you're not paying attention. Do I go from bottom to top? Yeah, well, give me give me twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'll go 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I think I'm easily going to go with, like, the O-Dog as the best of the teams. There you go. And the main reason there being, like, he's had three weeks of over, like, 119 points scored, including, like, a loss that was, like, absolutely devastating on Monday night. If he doesn't have that loss, he's a two-win team. He was that close to being a two-win team. Um, if you remember that Monday night with Drew Brees and all that craziness, um, I think it's pretty easy to say that he's he's the he's the the best of the three teams. So the question becomes, who's worse, Joseph or uh, or or No Thrills Football Company? And as much as I said I believe in streaks and I believe that that should be important. If you look at Team Joseph's point totals the first five weeks of the season, his highest point total is 88 points, and he comes in under 80 points three times. Whereas 
No Thrill scores over 100 points for the first four weeks of the season. So to me, it goes No Thrills, and then Jusef still the worst team in the league. Jusef. Oh, okay, so here's my qualm, and it will bring me into my segment here of Herbie's upset special. The qualm is, is in the team Jusef. And I think, I think the streak continues. And I think the terrible towel continues to fall. Wow. I, wow. Think, I think the injuries are going to get to him. I think Antonio Brown's not going to, he's going to have an off week. And that we have Stafford here against Washington is yeah, an okay matchup. But uh, I think uh, his running backs, Red Wild, Gio Bernard against Cleveland, and Jamal Charles against New Orleans. Right now, like on the pool, they have Jamal Charles as uh, no. he's he's at zero points. Is he? Do we have a status update on him? He's very limited. Oh, he's he's playing very limited. So then, you know, okay, so maybe he won't. Maybe he will not. I'm going to get I have no idea who. Joe is currently in Costa Rica, so the question of whether or not he'll be looking at that to update his lineup. I don't oh, know. Yeah, it's Niall Davis. Niall Davis. Pick up Niall Davis because he, 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 oh, no. he got yeah. picked up midweek. Niall Davis has played this week already. Jalen Richard. Yeah. You don't have much, much, much options. Not much option, yeah. So, but still, you're sticking with the one that brought you and you're upset special for the second yeah, week. I'm gonna stick with it. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to stick with it. I think. Uh, Lee's on Lee's on the way down. Joseph not really on the way out. But on the way up <laughs> to, to bet me. Okay. okay. Is that do you want to tackle that question right now if he'll bet you? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. So I do have a little bit of insight. No, I issue the challenge. Usually it's you issuing it. Issuing it. But I'm gonna issue it. Oh. Joseph, uh, you're saying Herbie, you're issuing the challenge? I'm issuing the challenge. I it's coming that. up. I don't know what week it's coming up. Uh, yeah, look it up. I mean, I spoke to Joseph about this very thing just the other day. The inside, uh, scoop. Yeah, the inside scoop. Inside scoop. So what he said was is that he's extremely scared to bet you, but last year he called you a pussy because you didn't want to bet him. So he feels like he absolutely has to, and he has no choice. <laughs> so week week nine. Which is actually, you know what? It's actually Joe's best chance to beat me. Oh, no. Week nine, I believe, is the Patriots' bye week. You have bye week trouble that week. And if it is, there's no Brady, no Gronk. Yeah, Brady's bye week. And you got to imagine for Team Jusef, who is a fan of, uh, the, of the New England Patriots, he'll be happy to know that he doesn't have to, like, Try to root against those guys. If there's one week to go, it's it's this week. Currently, with bye weeks included, he's still one point favorite over you. There's there's some <laughs> there's some breaking news in this room right now. Okay. One of the teams you dropped into the bottom three of the power rankings. Right. Is here. And does he want to respond? Um, I. The O Dog. The O Dog. Welcome to the podcast, O Dog. Hello, everyone. Um, my response is, is that I don't think you could go any other way as I am a one in five team, but you mentioned, uh, one horrible loss on Monday night on Devontae Friedman's meaningless 50 yard run. That was right. one bad one. The, was second, the first week of the season, I put up the third most points in the pool and also yeah. lost that week. So not only could I be easily, I mentioned in my point totals, not only could I be two and four, I should be three and three. There's no should be. There's no should. Be. That's fair. That's fair. It's my first time, so I I, I misspoke with my words. Um, but if I had a schedule like uh, you know maybe Yasta or Charger, um, I would be. I could be a fan too. Calling. <laughs> Do I have to hold the line? Who's calling you? Hello, Matt. Mo Hello. Oh, is that who's calling me? Hello. Oh, I lost him. I lost him. I believe it's Matt Mo. That was trying to call me. Is that who's calling me? Sorry, do you have the phone number? Are we broadcasting the phone number on the internet? No, we're not going to broadcast the phone number. How you <laughs> Does it end in 3966? Yeah. Yeah, it's his work number. He's calling me. The wife's calling me. 
called me twice. Maybe he has some qualms or something. Oh, one second. I'm, I'm going to text him. I'm going to see. Maybe we can bring him online. We'll see towards the end of the podcast here. Okay, Herbie, do you have something else you want to bring up? Because we are going a little bit longer than, than we Okay, planned. well, we got to talk. We got to talk about this post. This uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, this John Zach math quote. I want to read it. I'm going to read it. You are the actor. You should be reading. It. And I'm pro- I'm probably going to read it in the voice. Yeah, read it. Do a dramatic reading. I did the advice. Yes, right. Okay, go ahead. Oh, wait, wait. It, I, I'm having trouble opening this. My computer. He's calling back. One second here. Hello. Yes. <laughs> okay. If, if you want, if you want to call in, is there something specific you wanted to address? <laughs> I did. I put up the, the power rankings are there. I, I, I power ranked the top three, man. You have to keep, stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what fantasy advice? Text me your fan. Text me your text me your fantasy question. And I'll, I will ask. Yeah, I'll ask the 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 don't logo. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Mogul, he wanted to know about the power ring because I'm like, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. He's also gonna, he's also gonna text us a question about who he should start at running back. Okay, <laughs> for, for us to dissect. Okay, do you have the message up? Yes, I have the message. I had I, it's still loading okay. for some reason, which is bad. But it, the sub the the subject is to throw some math at Sachs's twenty percent statement. I'll just read the math. Let's assume he has an 80% chance of losing each week. That is extremely high, but let's work with it. At eight weeks remaining, the odds of losing every single week, under the assumption that he has an 80% chance of loss per week, would be 80% greater. Eight, I don't know what that. I don't, it's mass. 80% to, to the power of, I think. To the power of eight? Is that what that little, think, little arrow up yeah, is? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I'm not sure. Eight, yeah. 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 Uh, O-Dog says it is. Okay, O-Dog would know. 80% to the power of 8 is 16.7%. So as you can see, losing at is extremely hard. Even if it was as 70% per week, it would be 5.7% chance of losing every week. Okay, and your reaction? This ridiculous message. <laughs> I'm not I, – I, I, we were in the middle of a conversation. I'm not going to be like, okay, wait one second. If it's twenty percent to the power of eight, it's about seven percent. I get to, uh, to, uh, so it's about a seven, five point. It's about a five point seven percent chance. <laughs> okay, so I don't disagree with what you're saying. You're like, okay, there's no way I could have, I could have done this arithmetic in my head, and I agree. However, I like Johnny bringing a little bit of math to what is just a, a blanket statement. Maybe okay. next time you'll you'll have an idea. Of, of more of like what what that means. Yeah, but arguments football isn't all about math, man. There's so more. <laughs> it's about the arguments. And Johnny just brought a sick argument and he dropped the mic. <laughs> yeah, well, no, that's rid- it's a ridiculous thing. I think I thoroughly enjoyed John, uh, uh, Johnny's math and bringing the arithmetic, and I would I would hope that maybe he could bring more arithmetic on the regular. Um, he needs to have an eighty-one point seven percent chance of losing every week to have a twenty percent chance of losing every week. To, to the pool. Well, you're all choppy, my internet man. Are you are you gone? I'm back. I'm back. Oh, you're back. Say that again. I said that he needs an. Uh, Joe would need an eighty-one point seven percent chance of losing every week to lose twenty percent. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. To have a twenty percent chance of losing every week. So I'm sorry, math with. But. There he goes. He won anyway. So that that is done. I think that's that's all. We gotta we gotta go to the poll question though. What do you want? What do you want? Uh, to, oh, can I? Can I? Yeah, you make the poll. 
I have a question from a viewer, Herbie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the blunt force trauma manager, Matt Mogo, writes in, who should I start in, start at running back this week? After a pitiful Thursday night football and trying to avoid two sub-80 point weeks, I need the experts to weigh in. <laughs> 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 and I believe his choices are Mike Gillisley or, um, or TJ Yel Yeldon, I believe, are his choices. Okay. Yep. O Dog's going to take it. An opinion, her. We're gonna bring in ask the experts with with Team O Dog. Is, is that yeah, that special, a new special segment? Special o Dog. <laughs> My choice would be Mike Gillisley. Um, Miami's defense uh, not been particularly good against the run all year. Um, TJ does get a lot of uh, a lot of touches there, but he also has the. Uh, you know, back by committee issue there, um, and uh, I like the Buffalo Bills running game. They give a lot of carries to their backs, uh, so with no or a limited Shady McCoy, I go Mike Gillisey. And that's and there you go, Ashley Esperts with uh, Team O Dog. Um, did I just hear a drink get pop there, Herbie? A what? Are you drinking something? Water. Oh, well, then Team the Ashley Esperts from Team O Dog brought to you by water. <laughs> 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 quality H2O. <laughs> Maybe next week we can get a stronger sponsor for uh, the uh, Team O-Dog, Ask the Experts with Team O-Dog segment. Also brought to you by Aroma. Brought to you by Aroma. That's a strong, that's a strong. Uh, yeah, <laughs> brought to you by the, the Aroma that is Team Joseph's team. Poo. <laughs> Where's the poo? Where's the poo for that? <laughs> <laughs> this is, is giving off a off of a fitus. <laughs> You're terrible of a fitus. That's good. That's good stuff. Okay. All right, Herbie, do you have an idea for a poll question this week? Okay. Actually, can I just something else about last week? How about that Terrell Pryor? Oh, he's a fucking man. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Good stuff with Terrell Pryor. Um, okay, is there a poll question that you wanted to ask this right. week? Yeah. Last week's poll question. Poll question. Can we say that you know we disagree on who? Can we can we go back to the bottom of the standings? And um, and, and oh, I have another question. What? No thrills. Wow. wow, Steve Gray. I have another. I have another. I have another comment coming in. Oh, another. Oh, right. Uh, Steve Gray says, I heard my team got trashed uh, the other day, and he I guess he hasn't viewed yet. So he's saying because he was trashed, he, he's thinking about a boycott of the podcast this week. Wow. So I'm, I'm, I I want to say this. I want to say this. When you're thinking, I think I want to go back to the bottom of the standings here for today's poll question because I think there's something me and you fundamentally disagree on, and that's who is the worst team in the pool. Yes. And the O'Thorell's Football Company or Team Joseph. <laughs> yeah, it's a great. Well, you know, there is a hundred point difference, but I think that's being made up uh, slowly. I think. Uh, I do think that that the Thrills is trending down, and Jusef is trending. Well, I don't. I wouldn't say trend, he's trending up. Maybe he's holding steady. <laughs> but there's a lot of points there. It's 130 points. But yeah, I think uh, I just looking at the rosters. I'd rather have uh, Team Jusef's team. So there you go. We again, I, like I said, I think we disagree here, and um, I would like to that to be the poll question for this week. I'll put that up there. All right, weigh in. We we love to hear your comments, and uh, feel free to uh, to reach out to uh, me and Herbie through social media uh, using the hashtag arguments uh, pool uh, podcast. That's good. <laughs> That's that. Hashtag too long. Arguments for a podcast. Too long. What about what can we what can we have a hashtag for the podcast? To use those messed up. It just turned on and it's loud. Oh, I see. Can we can we have, a, you have a hash, can you come up with a hashtag for the podcast, Derby? I thought you just did hashtag too arguments too long. podcast. Too long. It's too long. Arguments PP. Arguments PP. Okay. Okay. The arguments PP. I like that. The argument, yeah. The arguments PP. Exactly. Good. All right. So the arguments PP. Feel free to tweet at us or uh, message us elsewhere with that hashtag and, and we'll see how we do. Sounds Argument good? Right?
All right, thanks for watching the Arguments PP. Switzer, thank you. Thank you to our guest, Odog. Thank you to uh, Steve Gray and Matt Mogul for questions. Thank you to Aroma, our sponsor, and water, of course. <laughs> Drank lots of it today. <laughs> Hydrated. <laughs>